Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Hello and welcome to the Sloppy Joe's podcast. It is the Ethan James birthday special today. It is it's his birthday. Well, birthday. when was it, Ethan? Yeah. Uh, my what? birthday was on Monday. Oh. Wait, nice. Your, birthday was, your birthday's already gone? Um, we're speaking in terms of today being Tuesday. Oh, your so birthday, my birthday was How on was Monday. it? Um, really nice. Loved was it. it. What did you get up to on your big birthday? Um... This we is played five-a-side football, Drew. Is that actually what you do? What, like a like a birthday power league where they put like a spread on afterwards? Oh, That's no, just, just the league thing. Although I would quite a go, have a go at one of those big Zorb things. Is that nice. Called, that Zorb? sounds like a Patreon special. That would be great, wouldn't it? But Ethan would be too small for it. He'd be like a squirrel inside of it, wouldn't he? No, go missing. Hamster. He just goes under the sofa and hits. What did you do for birthdays a, a past when you were a kid? Like when you were like nine or ten? Do you remember them, like Wacky Warehouse, Cinema Trips? Um, oh, it's a good question. Um, I remember going to Beamish Wild one birthday. To what? Uh, it's like one of those ones where you like climb amongst the trees, isn't it? And just like jump oh, around like, on that. Go, go ape. ape, yeah, 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 nice. Yeah. Go Ape, yeah, like one of them. Um, when I was like a kid, I remember um, used to have like fancy dress parties and that. I used to dress up as C-3PO. Really? Is he the gold one or the little robot <laughs> dome one? No, that's the gold one, Drew. Is it? Did nice. you get all? Did you do gold face? Oh, uh, I just had a C three PO mask. And what did you do face. for the body? I uh, just had like, uh, like gold paneling. And this no, was every, <laughs> and this gold <laughs> paneling. And this was every time you dressed up, you just went to C three PO. Um. I can't remember going as anyone else. I, I was really fond of C three PO as a kid. Why do you think you sort of, kind of? associated so closely with C3PO. Do you think it's that sort of kind of camp, no, like, I, um, no. you know, robo helper type no, personality? Did, did he have a like past C3PO? Like, um, in like no, he was, he was um, created by Anakin, wasn't he? Oh, was he? Anakin made him. Oh, that's nice. Because um, you see it at the start of the um, Phantom Menace. Oh, do you? are just finishing him off. Oh, um, wow. Did you what get birthday. finished off, Ethan, or do you think that you're still sort of a work in progress as a as a droid? A Hopefully, you get finished off on his birthday. Uh, yeah, that would be a nice. Um, well, that was a yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. What tense I'm speaking in at times <laughs> at the minute. Are you hungover, Ethan? No, I'm 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 just not very well, Joe. I've What's been the matter? Quite... Other than the sort of obvious visible issues, what is the matter with you at the moment? Uh, good question. Um, well, I went to um, a restaurant. And I don't want to disappoint, like call them out or anything so I'll call them the walk and shame um, <laughs> did spree. what are they actually called <laughs> I can't say Drew. well you can because they're, in, they're in like did we call the walk and something I don't know what are they called um, it doesn't matter you can say you can say you're not gonna, it's not food slander po- is it and also like I think the old food poisoning you got a shut down thing is overrated like people have got food poisoning from Mackey's yeah. from like the nice restaurant at the end of the road from this that like every restaurant has probably given someone food poison at some point so it's not like the end of the world where well, was it it was there was the walk and flame in Didsbury oh. and I also don't think we've made it to Didsbury this podcast I don't think there's anyone listening to us from oh, Didsbury funny you say that actually I've met uh, three sloppers in Didsbury oh have you really uh, three cr- different nights so yeah, they won't yeah. be eating there what did you have do you think what was the dish uh, well it was um, one of those it was a ver- Singapore vermicelli um, dish and had a bit of chicken and prawn in there and had some ribs but I think maybe like the chicken and a prawn it was massive massive portion but I think it might have been left out a bit too long or eaten or something have oh, you ever really? worked have you worked in a restaurant or a, a bar I've worked in like a cafe so never a restaurant yeah but well, did you work did you work with like f- where they handled meat and food and stuff yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. you can see how even without because th- when you think of food poisoning you think of sorry Ethan you think of like a chicken breast mm. on a s- stove that hasn't been cooked all the way through that's your yeah. instinct isn't yeah, it? Yeah, something yeah, yeah. that was still cold in the middle but I reckon most food, but I'm, I'm guessing this, but just from, do you know the hygiene rating? Mm-hmm. Most of what gives you a five out of five is how you store your food. Oh. So I bet that it's more likely that, yes, maybe they kept it on the heat thing for too long or like on a heat tray, or someone just used their own c- cutting board or someone like touched something and then didn't wash their hands properly and then touched something else. So it's, you know, Was it it's an easy mistake for, like, to make. You, did you like sh- shit yourself in the restaurant? No, I, I just pure vomiting and that, and it was a takeaway. We ordered it. Um, 
But no, I felt all right. I was playing a bit of darts and my stomach was grumbling a little bit. This ditch me darts tournament that you do a lot. It, it, you love it, don't you? Yeah, uh, that's where I have the syrup. So is it, are you are you sort of go for the darts, stay for the syrup? Kind yeah, of guy. yeah, that kind of guy. You must have had some good parties when you were young. Uh, we used to play... Well, one of my parties was... Invited from around. I told you about the tennis racket incident, didn't I? No, I don't think so. I think I did. I'll, t- I'll tell it again. Do you remember the tennis racket incident? Um, no. Well, I got. To, I was playing this game with. So we live. It's like a semi-detached house. Yeah. But the house we're like. The house next to us backs onto a car park. Right. We're like so one house separated from the car park. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I used to do this thing. I'd stand in the garden and I had a tennis racket, and I'd hit a tennis ball up, and I could hit it over the house onto the car park. And it was my little party show. I was only like nine or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So it was pretty cool that I could like, oh, I can it. Lever it. Levered it. So it was my birthday. Everyone comes round. 10, 15 of us in the garden. My yeah. mum and dad were inside like setting up a bit of mini sausage roll or whatever. Um, and a game that I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, and I was like, can I just watch this? Like, I've, I've worked out I can do this amazing trick. Everyone's going to love <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah. Birthday, Joe. I'm expecting a round of applause. Ten, tennis ball goes up in there. I hit it. Misjudged the angle slightly. It smashes straight into the bathroom window. Oh, no. And now, it's a single glazing, so it doesn't just, like, crack. It, it shatters. shatters the full thing. It, yeah. And there's 12 kids just stood up looking up <laughs> as glass just <laughs> rains down <laughs> on everyone, like this sort of toxic rain. And Josh McDonald's just, my eyes! And just, just glass falling in everyone's eyes. And I, weirdly, I didn't even get that told off. Did Smashed you not? the bathroom window. Josh McDonald got glass in his eye, and I was just there, you know, cruising. Similar story to that, me and Patrick once, my cousin, used to just try and see how far we could throw the tennis racket up in the air. Right. And so, so one day he just went into the kitchen window and did the same as you. How, where was oh, the kitchen smashed. window? Above sort you? Of like, no, as in like we just misjudged and just threw it straight in front of us. Yeah. I think it's Patrick. Straight through the kitchen window. There's nothing like breaking a window. Oh, it's the, it's the best and worst feeling ever. Yeah. Um, Here's a game we used to play. So we weren't like a rent out of the leisure centre, get, you know, five aside, trampoline, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. We didn't do all that because it was a bit expensive. So we had more of a home base, not these DIY yeah, shops. No, no, no. Um, yeah, Wix was sold out. Um, we went to a home base and we'd have a game where they'd be, they'd, we'd fill the bathtub with balloons. Then you'd have right. split into two teams. Who, what was it? My mum and dad would fill the bathtub with balloons. Yeah. Not the balloons full of air or like water? No, full of water. And then what you'd do is two teams at the bottom of the stairs and the, the person at the front of the queue has a T-shirt on that says like blue team or whatever. A wet T-shirt competition? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Not, no that, stop this. We're children. So what you do is both at the same time, t- the front of both queues, both teams, runs up the stairs, comes, grabs a balloon, comes back down and has to pop the balloon between the knees then when you've done it, oh, like you the. give the t-shirt to the yeah, next yeah, person. Yeah, right. Up now until all the balloons have gone. Wow. And whoever's done the most balloons at the end of the game wins. And so where would they pop like your that. water to? Are you There's outside? There's no water. Yeah, I, you, you asked what the balloons are filled of and I said air. Do you remember uh, that? No, you said water. Did I? Did you say water, Ethan? No, well, they're filled with air. I said there's no water I involved. I thought you said there's water. Maybe so that was, there's but no that was water a great. It's one of those games where, because there's a speed element yeah, yeah, to yeah. it, it really gets everyone going that. That was a fantastic game. And then we did that, walked around to the uh, Regal Cinema and went and watched Scooby-Doo. That was one that of my birthdays. That nice. Fantastic I, birthday. I remember the games like that. We went on holiday to Turkey and there's like, do you like Turkey? You've been? I've never been to Turkey. Great place, Turkey. I've never even yeah, got near it, really. What do you mean, got near it? I've never got near it. I've never, Cyprus. I, never been to Cyprus, never been to Greece. Syria. Never been to sort of Iran, Syria. Iraq. The closest I've got... Is probably Croatia, which isn't really it's close at all. Close. Italy, well, maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. It's not I'm not far. too good on geography when it gets to that bit. That's all kind of south easterly Europe. But I've never been, I've never got that far. Never there was a that. nice hotel and you used to do games uh, like uh, there's like these inflatables they put on the pool. It's like an infa- inflatable race. Once beat a Russian. Welcome, Sloppers. We are so excited to announce a brand new sponsor and guess what it is of course it's a food based one wing fest 2023 this is one of the best festivals in the world for food it is a collection of some of the finest chicken wings from so many different traders and different parts of the country coming together to sell you the best of the best in wings also there's loads of booze there's live music there's entertainment there's chaos there's eating competitions and there's joe mcgrath 
I will be there. Every single one of them. You say every single one, how many can they be? Well, there's a Derby one. There is a London one. There's a Manchester one. There is a Birmingham one and a Bristol one. It's an amazing event. You'll love it so much. Grab a group of mates, come down. You'll have the time of your life. You've got to be quick on some tickets. For example, London pretty much sold out, but you can still get tickets for, for Manchester. Come on, that's a good hometown gig there. All the information you need, wingfest.co.uk forward slash tickets. Put it in your WhatsApp groups now. Put it in your messengers. Get a group of mates together. Bring your family as well for what is an incredible event. I will see you there. So will the Sloppers. I am look forward to seeing you at Wingfest 2023. See you in a bit. Oh, did I, I told you about the, the, the teacher, that the new teacher we had at our school that time. No. Um, what, recently? No, when I was at school. <laughs> not, 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 I don't go to school now, do I? I thought you said you had a new teacher. Uh, we got a new teacher. We were in year 10. And all of a sudden there was this new teacher. And all the teachers, well, he was, he was. Oh. He was this like sexy teacher guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he like had, he had like a stubble and he was like muscly. And he had like a, a blue shirt and everyone else had like, you know, the suit on, but he had a blue shirt with a couple of buttons undone. Really? So he like, yeah, cool guy, yeah, nice yeah. tan, you know, lovely sort of hairline. Smoking. Um, smoking cigs, all the works. And then all of a sudden like, he was trying to like ingratiate himself with the kids. So he was playing football with us at, at PE, yeah. uh, not at PE, at, at lunchtime. And we're like, all right, so yeah, chill out. Like, honestly, like, come on, we, we get it. You, you're, you're the cool new Turkish teacher or whatever. Turned out it was a year seven. Honestly, I don't know when he went through puberty. What are you talking about? Honestly, he had a beard. Seven. He had a stubble. He was much... Wasn't was, it weird when he started teaching you geography? No, he wasn't. He never taught anyone. Oh, right. Okay. It turned out, we were like, who's this? All right, sir, you play football with us. He was, he was 11 years old. Unbelievable. Honestly, he, he was like... Popping Did off a little chain. I can't believe what he must and have gone through when he was six years old. Drove home. That's four mad. kids waiting at home for him. <laughs> it was unbelievable, this Weird kid. That, yeah. So so if that's who you were taking you're going against on these. No, no, no. Our game was pretty simple. You had a line you had two teams, big line of them, ten in a team, and you had a towel. And the idea was the, the 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 first person was by the pool, all the way back, the tenth person was by a bucket, and in that bucket was One of your poos. Was, was a ping pong ball. No, my poos would have been good. So the idea was you fill up the towel with water, you fucking pass it behind you, pass it behind you, pass it behind you, pass it behind you try and get all the water out, Bring like it that out. until it just. The tension is like nothing you've so ever seen. So it's the aim before. of the game to get the ping pong ball above the surface? Yeah. Off, out, out of the bucket. Bye bye, ping pong ball. Bye. Gone. Yeah, no, like, they, they, the Russians are cheating. Did they? They'd like sort of bring their own water from the bar and just start filling it up like that. Mm. The referees were half around a bit, must have been paid off. Maybe. Next thing you know, the Russians are won. We've had the goal. They were celebrating with the, with the Russians by the oh, end, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, the yeah, you can tell. Yeah. Ethan, for, for your birthday, sorry, this is your birthday special. Mm. What would you normally do on a birthday? Um, well, I, I actually, I'm, I'm going to speak in a different sense now. I'm going to pretend that my birthday hasn't happened as of yet. I don't have any plans for this birthday. Um, I don't. Last birthday though, oh, you remember, I'll take you back to episode one. Do you remember episode one? Yes, I do, and I know what you're going to say. Do you? I'll, I'll test you. What am I going to say? You're going to say that you drank a yard of ale on ah. stage at a peep show uh, quiz. Absolutely. And, and I vomited I, afterwards. I, yeah, what a theme of the week for me <laughs> this is. Uh, and you also had three Nandos, I remember, in the space of like four days. That's a really good memory. Yeah, I did actually. But then this birthday, so since then, so then you yeah. were a single man. Yeah. You were, you know. Were you uh, single then? As much as it. Uh, oh, no, ish. actually, I would have. I, a month into the relationship, yeah. true. So we, but, 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 so we still had kind of the schedule of a single yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds a bit. I don't mean sexually. I mean, oh, just, right, you know, yeah. you hadn't had time for your. You've still got the your life to kind of flourish the way it can do when you're in a relationship, for instance. Um, and uh, you know, may I say you're on slightly less money than you were than you are now. I, I uh, was, yeah. yeah. And yet, this birthday, yeah. you're not spending it with your girlfriend. No. Let's pretend it hasn't happened. Let's pretend that we're recording this slightly before Ethan's birthday. You're not spending it with your girlfriend. You're not going to any quizzes. You're not going to drink a yard of ale. Yeah. What are you doing? What's happened in the last 12 months, Ethan, that this birthday is noticeably s sort of more pathetic than last year's? That's a good question, Drew. It's made me feel quite sad. <laughs> Would you want us to take you out for your birthday? Ah, oh, no. If you could go anywhere for your birthday, where would it be? Um, wow, anywhere. Um, Bearing in mind your mother watches the show. Ah, yes. Not okay. long legs. Change of mind. Um, 
I quite like the restaurant East is East. I enjoyed going there. That was lovely. You want to go for a good curry for your birthday? I do like a curry, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Um, something we could arrange, shouldn't it? Yeah. Go for a good curry for his birthday? We could do, couldn't we? Well, you don't seem too keen, do you? Yeah, but you, you say you're going for a curry, and then the day before you make us go somewhere else. No, oh, that's true, yeah. I'll make you go. Yeah, <laughs> so I can't see, really no, I trust can't do that. Not on Ethan's birthday. <laughs> okay, Not on enough. Ethan's birthday. So, what are you actually planning for this birthday? Are you genuinely just playing five aside and going home? Yeah, yeah. That's Mondays are the busiest days of the week, so there's no time for compromise. And what about presents? Do you remember your best birthday present you've ever got? Ooh, um, I've had some stolen presents from my kind parents over the years. Um, my favourite would be, um, oh no, that was Christmas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, uh, so far, so good. Um, what what, what his favourite his favourite birthday present was the panelling that he wore. <laughs> C-3PO, he got a little bit of skirting board that he painted gold and put on his lips. Oh, I remember. What? Uh, my, when I was maybe 14, 15, okay. something like that. No, a little earlier, 12. Um, when I was 12, um, my mum took us to a weekend to Birmingham. Um, and do you know what we've done there? We yeah, just, uh, just vibed. We went to the, ga- the Gadget Show exhibition. <laughs> oh! <laughs> NEC, <laughs> NEC. That's class. Yeah, that Channel 5's gadget show. Which Mad, still going. Can we remember one of the great giveaways? Yeah, it was a great, yeah. Do you remember that, Ethan? No, no. Oh, I remember the gadget remember show, yeah. Every, ga- every year, so do you know some shows do like, every week we're giving away £150. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we're doing a flight to Mallorca. You know, yeah, all yeah. expenses paid, £600 trip, whatever. The gadget show did one giveaway a season. And Ooh. honestly, it was everything. This year, this season's gadget show giveaway is, and I swear to God, really? it was a 50 inch plasma, a 32 inch plasma, a 46 inch <laughs> plasma, a year subscription to Sky HD, a Sony PSP, a Game Boy Advance, a, uh, an iPhone this, a da da da, a r- robo electronic skateboard, a helicopter. A f- honestly, it, yeah. it was <laughs> hundreds of wow. things and 50 grand spending money. That's and then incredible. they used to do a video of a lorry full of stuff being delivered to some two up, two down oh. in, old, in fucking <laughs> Openshaw, where the bloke was like, I'm so glad I've won, but what the fuck am I gonna do? With honestly, like 200 grand's That's worth mad. of kit. He used to be like, this prize is worth 50,000 pounds. Fucking hell. It was hell. amazing. It was, they gave you like phones with contract, like two phones. Who needs a Samsung and an iPhone? That's mad. Perfect and, for the drug dealer in your and, life. And you loved the gadget show. Ah, uh, yeah, I used to love the gadget show. Uh, when I went down, we bought one of those. We met w- someone who was from The Apprentice. And I can't quite remember his Alan name. Alan Sugar. Oh no, it was just some uh, one of the, the apprentices who never quite made it. And he sold us this gadget which you strap to your head, right? And you have it's not to- those glasses, is it? Oh no, it's not these glasses, Joe. <laughs> um, it was like a headband thing, and it it you, you you power the game with your concentration. So the more you concentrate and the more you focus, you get rewarded. It was quite a cool what? fun. That yeah. sounds like quite ahead of its time. Yeah, it was. It was. I think it was probably bollocks on reflection. What do you mean it was probably <laughs> bollocks? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if, like how, how that works, really. I but don't what, think... what actually was it? Was so, it like a visual so thing? So, for example, there would be like a man walking, and I think you'd like was control sorry, the just, man I, to jump or walk from like concentrating and like telling them what to do and that. This sounds made up, Ethan. I, I don't this mean to interrupt you again, but so was there a screen over your eyes, like a VR headset? No, 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 no. So that's like, it, it, it's a band that goes to your head that's like measuring your your, 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 your brain waves. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're watching a game and well, this that, band that's the, that's the, that's is the thing connected that you want, to it. What, that's the thing you want to explain very well. Where are you watching the game? On a screen. Right, so like a telly in your house? Yes. Right, so what, how is it connected to the telly? <laughs> through this headset. No, <laughs> that's not how it's connected, is it? You bought this! Because it must be plugged into something. Yes. How was it connected? Was it like through Bluetooth, an Bluetooth, maybe. Telly didn't have Bluetooth in 2010. Maybe like an aux cable? There was a <laughs> wire. So there was a wire going from the headset to the TV? I think so. Right. And then you'd just think <laughs> and it would make a man jump up and down? Wow. Ah, uh, maybe I'm not remembering it right. That's incredible, if so. Though. It it's sounds, amazing. It sounds like I'm ahead not, of its time. I'm not trying to knock you. I'm just trying to get a clear vision of it because it sounds incredible I, I, and impossible. Another birthday, my mum oh. took me to Stoke. Hold on. Is Fuck she, you what's, what's going on here? Did she just take you to the shit holes? What? What's got? Why Stoke? Yeah. Well, you see, so we got to Stoke, and I didn't. I couldn't remember why we were going there, but we just went for like a weekend away. 
I remember we got there, and one of them sat down and said, said, and do you know what we're doing? I've got us an all day pass for Alton Towers, all the fast ride, like oh, fast that's access. Class. And, I, I, and, I, and I went, for fuck's sake, I oh. hate rides. Happy birthday, yeah. Ethan. Do you, do, you still, do, you, do you really hate them? Well, he can't get on them for a start. You've got to be oh, 1.2 yeah. metres. <laughs> so, so they went, we've got all the fast passes. Um, you can watch us. Yeah, well, we'll, get you, we'll get you a six pack of wagon wheels and sit you in lost and found. The rafters. Well, the rafters. The rifters. Rubber dingy rapids. Ethan, yeah. it, well, it may not have been a birthday, but you were telling me, and I stopped you, you were telling me about a time you went to a theme park the other day, weren't you? Well, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> yeah, my brain just felt this as well, Drew. So uh, when I was when I was like in year seven or eight at school, um, my so probably twelve, eleven or twelve. Yeah, a youngster, a young lad, and uh, I, I went I, I went to the beach with my girlfriend, and there was yeah. one of those little um, it's like those little beach um, oh, what do you call yeah. them? Fun fairs. Oh yeah, hold on. Were you trying to describe a fun fair with your hands then? It's uh, like a, it's like a, it's not like a fun fair, like a, like a, yeah, like a fun fair, like a, like rides and that. So a fun yeah, fair. Yeah, fuck me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it, was it <laughs> no, no, not a fun was fair. Was this Blackpool like pleasure a, beach? You know, rides and that. But it's more fixated and always there. Yeah, that's a fun fair. <laughs> and not a theme park. No. A f- Ethan, Wait, Ethan, we know no the middle term ground. It here. is a fun fair. It is the fun fair. So I went to the fun fair on the beach and um, I took her there and we said, let's do some rides and that. Sorry, you're 11 and you're going off to the beach by yourself with your girlfriend? Maybe 13. Right, that makes sense. can't get his ages right this episode. And um, I, 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 we went there and she said, let's do a ride. And I went, all right, she oh said, let's God. do the teacups. Teacups, basic, entry level. Oof, yeah. That's just to start But it can get it. too intense, the teacups. Oh, Especially on. you've got a spinner on the teacup. Yeah. You spin that, and you're going one way, and the spinner's going the other way. You, you don't. Yeah. There was there was a man who was throwing the teacup to go e- at even faster. I want to use the word velocity. Oof, big word. Yeah, big word. Is that right? Yeah, it you depends. Can, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it is a word. <laughs> so he was <laughs> flinging us to go even quicker and quicker, and we sat on these things, and uh, I had me. Uh, I was ne- next to the 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 my. What would I call her? Girlfriend, girlfriend at the time. Oh God! And um, and, and you can tell and he's got food poisoning. Can't you? Can't think of a girlfriend. And uh, and <laughs> one thing led to another. I thought <laughs> I was going to be sick. You see. Oh. Right. And you know what? what I you was meant? sick. <laughs> right. and Where were you sick? <laughs> I was I was sick all over myself. Oh. And did on, you see you were wearing a <laughs> on, you were in a body warmer? On, on a bo- body warmer. So I was sick all over my body while I was in the chair. I don't think anything got on there, so that was all right. And then... Um, so what did well, you do with the body warmer? Well, well, we walked onto the beach, you see, because we were near the beach. And I walked onto the sand, and, and I was just so embarrassed because I couldn't carry on my vomit-covered body warmer, so I just buried it in the sand. <laughs> You buried it in the sand. Some yeah. poor buried fucking it. metal detectorist is gonna find. <laughs> oh, we've hit gold here. Oh, this what, what is it? Is... Oh, look, it's a scout badge. <laughs> that must be Ethan James. Oh, it's he's got the teacup sick. badge. That's yeah. upsetting, Ethan. Yeah, and then um, was asked, she said, "All right, let's not ruin our day here. We've only just begun." And she said, "How about we do something a bit low key?" And I went like, "What?" And she went. Well, this is pirate ship one that goes back and forward like that. Oh no! Simple yeah, that, that though, isn't it? That's just like yeah, but one... knowing Ethan can't hack the teacups. Yeah, I threw up everywhere. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> so you threw up twice yeah. in one day. So this so, is crazy. So, so, when, yeah. so what pe- did you throw up on that time? You top? Uh, no, I, I just done the chairs and that thing. But the thing is. Like pe- so is it going up and down and you're being <laughs> sick while you're still on yeah, it? Yeah, well, it's like towards the end. It's like, yeah, like, yeah. Just like to the side of us. And so I wasn't sick and, uh, um, but I remember like, um, well, sorry, all my friends make fun of me. You see, you're oh, Ethan's scared of rides. You'd never go and ride. I just, I just can't do any kind of motion at all. I'll, I'll enjoy a ride when there's no spinning or mo- too much movement. Right, I'll so hack Goliath in the Netherlands. Mm, yeah. You put so I, I did Goliath in the Netherlands, the tallest. You, really? What's the ride in the Netherlands? Where did you meet him? Oh no, sorry, it was a no, not a, a riding Go man called Goliath. Goliath. Yeah. Pardon? What? Um, that's mad. You like rides, don't you? Love them. Although, do you know something? And I hate to say this. In, I genuinely love them. I get scared, but I do it anyway, kind yeah. of thing. 
Um, last time I went to a theme park was Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is yeah. massively yeah, underrated, yeah, yeah, by yeah, the well. way. It's great. There's like four genuinely like proper new good really rides. Really good rides. And then there's two or three other ones where you're like, I'm going to die, but that's kind of fun. My stomach isn't the same as it used to be. What, since Blackpool? I don't know. No. As in, that was what did it. Oh, right. Like, I don't know if it's as, it, as you get older thing. Yeah. But like, we went on, uh, we did like a loop of all the rides. Maybe there was no queues actually. So maybe we did too many Oof. too quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did like all five in about an hour and a half. Um, but I just felt sick for the rest of the day. Yeah. I had to sit, same, I had to sit on the beach, there ate my cheese and jalapeno pita. There's something about the, the speed which can absolutely do you. I went yeah. to, last time I went to Blackpool, we were doing a video for the Manc, the page, and we got to the front on every single ride. And like you, in an hour we did them all. Yeah. I couldn't sleep at night, I thought I was on a ride. Yeah. Every time I closed my eyes, I felt like I was on a ride. Maybe you need the queue. Have you heard the news though? What? Oblivion's done. Oh no. Oblivion? Oblivion? No, Nemesis. Nemesis and no, no, Oblivion's no. done. Yeah, Oblivion's done. Alton Towers is what big, they replacing Alton it Towers is a big statement like uh, United when they sort of get rid of someone. Yeah. <laughs> done. Um, Club statement. Click on it. El yeah. Oblivion's done, sadly. That was a class ride, wasn't it? Yeah, so Nemesis was good, Nemesis was but good, it was yeah, like yeah. a standard roller coaster. But when it came in, it was revolutionary. Yeah. Was it was it? Early 90s, <laughs> I, mean, I think it was. Mid 90s. <laughs> It was the first like multiple loop back loop ride in the country or something like that. Yeah. But it, but nowadays it's kind of just like a bog standard ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Oblivion had its unique US. It did. It was it? unbelievable. Unique, unique selling point. Where if for anyone who hasn't been on it, you basically the entire ride was you go up, you go round to the left, you, then, then there's a literally straight vertical drop. Oh, but as you're going over the edge, it stops. So you're like hanging over the edge, literally just endless like a steamy like hole that you go into. Not for the first time. Um, and then it just says, don't look down, and you just fucking fly down face first. But that was great, because it was if, only yeah. short, but there was never a queue for it. If you could do anything in a theme park, it was just you, there was no consequences. What yeah. was your... I'd love to go on Oblivion nude. Just were you willy at? I'd probably go on Nemesis nude. Do you know those big looping backflips? Oof, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or air. Imagine what your balls would do there. Yeah. <sighs> Did you hear about the pigeon, though, didn't you? What? The pigeon on Oblivion. This is always a rumour in school that... When Oblivion stopped, uh, there was like some geese making the way to what Canada or something like that. So was it a goose or a pigeon? No, it was it was a bigger one. It was the goose. And as the the an ride albatross. as the ride dropped, the goose went past it, took someone's head off. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going like fifty mile an hour. So, yeah, but if you land, if you headbutt a goose at fifty miles an hour, yeah, your head's done. It's not going to take it off. Maybe though, not full take off, but you've broken it. You're dead. You're dead. Kill them. Yeah, killed the goose as well. Oh no. You expect that though, don't you? Yeah, the goose is all neck. Yeah. So you think maybe you could just be wearing it as a scarf by the time you came out the other side. Um, wow. That didn't happen though, did it? Although that woman not. did lose her legs on um Smiler. Smiler. You know, did you have any myths like that in school? Mm. Any like myths that got around? The pigeon on the oblivion was a big, big one. Yeah. There was w also about a uh, a man who loves to shit in the woods. Right. right. That, that was you, wasn't it? No, yeah, yeah. I tried to get rid of those rumours pretty quick. No, you took on his mantle. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, like yeah, a yeah. young Batman. Passed it down. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, uh, I've seen the work he's done. Yeah. I could be the next woods shit man. And uh, yeah. I did that well. I yeah. only had three shits in the woods ever. The, the main rumour at our school was that Miss Sumner was Sting's sister. Really? She was called Miss Sumner and he's called Gordon Sumner. So... Uh, that was like, yeah, that stinks. So, like, she's set for life. Yeah, do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. like, she's not really asked about this she job. She doesn't really care. Um, that was the one rumor. The other rumor was that Mr. Widdison yeah. had had a javelin thrown through his arm. Wow. And that was true. He really? talked about they had a scar on his arm. Someone just threw a javelin and just went in through his arm. That can't was be teaching bad. him. So, he's just walking around one day and a javel goes through his arm. Yeah. Pins him to the floor. You wouldn't believe it, would you? No, like something from ancient Rome. You just, you just, even if you could see it, you'd probably be like, this, am I, am I dreaming? Yeah. Do you know something that's so away from normal reality? Yeah. yeah if a javelin went through your arm, well, imagine now if someone just came in and beheaded Ethan. I, could, I sort of wouldn't believe it was real. Yeah, you'd be stunned, wouldn't you? Yeah. Would Ethan, you carry on the pot? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Just leave it on the wide. Ethan, <laughs> what are you sort of rumours around Newcastle? Um, oh. Took a question. In Interesting that when we were giving our examples of that, you didn't <laughs> think we might come to you with this question. You waited until we'd both spoken for a couple of minutes each, and then you went, ooh, good question. And we do it on purpose, you know, so you can catch up. Uh, uh, what were you doing for the last couple of minutes? I was trying to think of some uh, 
rumours, <laughs> but I couldn't <laughs> think of any, so I just, uh, just thought I'd up. just thought of it then to buy us maybe a few more seconds. Uh, right, should I? Should we get on with my week? Because yeah. uh, yeah. I've got a, I've got a funny thing to tell you, and yeah, I think you, you you've been you might already this. know. Mm. Do you know? I think I might know. <laughs> Ethan doesn't know. I think he might. <sighs> it's a big day. I've I've. This is hard to take. I've been. <sighs> been dumped by my PT. They very clearly said it's not him, it's me. <laughs> Did he? And that, you know, <laughs> sorry, it's hard to speak during this difficult time. Right. And that I just wasn't taking it seriously. You know? Well, this, the, the awkward part is, is not only does he watch the podcast, he is, two, three things, he watches the podcast, he's also my personal trainer, and I am carrying on with him, and three, he was doing this for free, Joe. Yeah. How could you not? I was doing it for free as well. What? Trying to get in good shape? He's giving you loads of resources, data, it. information. He texted just... me the other day. So, just an FYI, <laughs> not sure if McGrath's <laughs> mentioned, I've had to cut him from the program. <laughs> what he can give and what the program requires isn't in the same stage at this, at this it's point. It's a very polite so It's best for that. all parties. He's all okay with the decision. Let's make sure you carry the sloppy Joe flag with pride. It's very politely put. My reply. <laughs> I'm carrying this bastard flag, don't you worry about that. McGraw is a disgrace. I can't wait to rip into him on the next pod. Damn with McGraw, long live the Smith. And I will be carrying on this flag. And, and You and do, I'm excited Muslims. for you to What's do it. What's happening? Oh, it's just, can't be asked. I, that's how it boils down to it. Uh, <laughs> that's what it boils down to, isn't it? I just kept forgetting to do stuff. Like what? Exercise. <laughs> Also, little things like register, like my food and that. I kept forgetting to do that. I just forgot the how to. Yeah, I don't know. And then, and then, and then, and then, there's just other stuff in the mix. Do you think that because I've got other stuff as well? Like, you know, there was like big days, and I didn't account for big days. Right. Two stag do's. Oof. Dublin twice. Easter. Yeah. Big days. Right. Fish and chips on Good Friday. Yeah. That's law. Well, that's quite big. It's a big day. Do you think, because I've got a mate who's recently quit smoking, but he's been, he's, he sort of talked about quitting smoking for a long time. Nice. But he came to the realisation that actually for now, up until recently, he just likes smoking. <laughs> he knows it's going to kill him. I just he like knows he's probably <laughs> going to get some sort of cancer or heart disease or whatever at some point. But he, for now he likes smoking. So he wasn't smoking. addicted, he was just like... No, he was addicted. Was he's he? Definitely, he's definitely addicted. But maybe it's the case, Joe, that... You just like being a little bit husky. I like I like boozing. You like boozing. You like your cheese. It makes the world go round. Yeah, it certainly makes the brute spin. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing, and this is a little a little insight, right? Into into it. I don't actually eat too bad at home, and there is evidence of this because you stalked my fridge the other Mm. day, and I just eat normal stuff like you were expecting pies. The thing is, though, no pies. You expecting? It's just when I, you know, when the mood takes you. Yeah. Who doesn't love a little drink? I also have to review takeaways for a living. Doesn't mm. help, mm. you know. Eight also, episodes you're of that not one. in like terrible shape. I can still. You're walk not the like dog three times a day. Yeah, you 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 can you know you got a decent bit of cardio. You can run a five k. So, yeah, you're not. There big. will be a time where I turn to so yeah. you know, yeah, maybe the modelling career is for me. <laughs> yeah, I think you could do a bit of modelling. Oh, here we go. Like sort of like yeah. Warhammer Just models. Just <laughs> Warhammer models. What Just do you mean? Painting them. So yeah, bit of clay modelling. Jumps or uh, if you, I'm gonna watch rom-com films and eat ice cream and go to PT in the park where it's not really. PT. He texts me. It's his birthday next week. Do you want to do a training session and go for a drink? Is that what he said? <laughs> See, that's what you thought. So now this we're was. back on. Un- honestly, it's just a sad day. So are you, how do you feel about it? Do you feel a bit embarrassed? No, nah. I knew it was coming. Did you? Yeah, because I just wasn't really taking it seriously. Yeah. So when I got the text, I was like, Oof. almost relieved. Oh God. Relief was a good one. Relieved in physically and emotionally. Um, relieved myself that night. What, you had a celebratory wank? No, big poo. <laughs> big poo. Um, but you know, I, I, I will, I, I'll work on it. Would you like to say anything to Ash? Thank you for looking after me. Yeah. And for giving you the opportunity. Joe. Good luck with Joe. Yeah. And he's doing great work with me. Yeah. Actually, I went to the gym today before the podcast. Yeah. Um, I'm what did you it. do? I did push. It's a push day. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to talk about My it. My best part of that day would be 
when you pull the door to leave the <laughs> fucking gym. <laughs> push, <laughs> push the door. To push leave. through to the uh, other side. Are you alright though? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll get there. Ethan, you've got. Uh, yeah, and also I've got Wingfest in like. I've got. A f- I've got. A f- thank you very much for Wingfest, by the way. Our new sponsors. Yeah. Yeah, you would have seen at the start of the show. That's just too wild. Mm. It's fine. Your events. lifestyle isn't. I've got and, Leeds and Fest can I as ask well. Another question. Got, I mean this genuinely. I've got. I've got, I've got uh, two, three abroad trips. Yeah. Just, uh, me and Ethan were talking about this the other day. And I, and, 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 sure. and you love talking about me. No, we just talk about our lives and your yeah, part yeah, of our yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is. This is classic. Go on. Let's me and <laughs> no, 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 no. What else did you talk about? Let's talk about Joe's physique. Yeah. Go on. Because obviously I got the news. Um, the terrible, terrible news that you dropped out of the program. Um, dumped. I was dumped. Yeah. But part of me thought, and I, don't, and I mean this genuinely, do you know like certain jobs, especially public facing jobs, require a certain look? For instance, I think like you know, certain like athletics commentators or football commentators, they're in good shape, aren't they? They keep themselves in good shape because it kind of gives you a, a relationship with the sport that they were once part of. Mika Richards is massive, he's jacked, but all of them, they're all slim, they're all still in kind of, you know, it gives the, the audience the illusion that they're still in the football world. If you're like a food lad, yeah, and you're like really skinny, and you've lost loads of weight, I think that loses something to the audience. I don't I want to watch of someone reviewing like sloppy takeaways who's got a six pack because I think you're not living that oh, life I won't get a fucking six pack but you know what then. I mean like, I think you're not living that life really I want someone who's you know got a little bit of weight on but drunk not in, in the a bad trunk. way a little drunk in the trunk because you look like someone that likes a takeaway do you know what I mean you won't want Mo Farah reviewing your takeaways no, you no. think it's, it's six stone it's all corn do you know what I mean and yeah. I think as part did of, you have a really good conversation about it yeah. that was that was basically the extent of the conversation wasn't it Ethan well yeah it's like the fella from man versus foods you wouldn't want to see him thin rate my takeaway he's, part now, of lost, the, he's now lost weight him as well yeah. that guy he doesn't never go back will he yeah. uh, rate my takeaway guy part of the joy is him piling on the pounds that's what you want to see um, uh, there is one though have you heard of beard meets food oh yeah he's a machine yeah, yeah. but his thing is that he's got a beard so you need to have some kind of physical Oh no, he can eat like the the every single challenge going, isn't it? He can eat oh. everything on the menu. He's unbelievable. Have you ever thought about getting into the competitive eating scene? No. Because they're all I can't skinny. Do it. They're all skinny, do you know that? <laughs> do you know you can't be a big fat is guy? Is it because like metabolism or something like that? No, because bec- uh, because muscle stretches, but fat don't stretch. So if you've got the, like a big fat belt around your stomach, you could do it. You're like, you know, it's not like, it's if you're really quite big, then your stomach doesn't stretch enough to allow all the food in. They're all, they're all like normal to skinny. Wow. Joey Chestnut's the greatest of all time. Joey Chestnut? He's got a little weight on, but he's not a big boy. Joey Chestnut? Yeah, he's the greatest That's competitive mad. eater so in history. No, no, 10 Club last week. Uh, oh, this has been waiting for about half an hour now. So it's kind of spot on from what we did last week yep. with five guys. There's a lovely lad called Ryan watches the show also has a place called that burger place nice. and he dm'd us after the five guys episode to say late i know you got your burgerism debate i know you got your five guys debate i want to throw my name into the hat love it and he's also just opened in the city center ladies and gentlemen we've got boom Oof. that burger place delights now you've got to take it to consideration like we did last time it has been sat here for half an hour yeah so it's been a while since it's been made now I know Ryan, he likes to take a trip to America Oof. to see how the big boys are cooking up their burger. Right, so take that, take that. Oh, look at that man. Whoa, he's thrown in bloody some, hell. He's thrown in some <laughs> Kevin Bacon fries. Look at that, and that Whoa. looks like a good that looks like, didn't it like, <laughs> that looks like a, is it cake? It's so, yeah. it looks so much like a perfect burger. It looks like it's cake. Like you could slice through it and it's actually what about burger. burger. Right, we've got a burger each. Wow. You've got one. What's you, this one? LA Smash, this is yours, Ethan. Can I have the LA Smash? Yeah. I wanted that one. On I got a Cali. Right, so we've got Burger Each. Thank you, Ryan, for throwing in the Burger wow. Each for us. Can He's an absolute say, legend. Now, now, what I've said to you before the podcast is, yeah. I appreciate that this no, guy no, watches. That's yours as well. I oh, appreciate all of that, but it, would, it wouldn't be fair to the rest of our audience for us to be biased here just because we know him. And I don't know him, but just because he knows us. You've got to be... Well, so I, all I'll say is... That. Right. So and Remember, it's been there? sat there for about half an hour. Yeah, of course. This is called the Cali. Right, going. right, so we've just smashed the burgers. And I'll tell you why they're different. So, you've heard of smash burgers. 
but these are a little bit different because he goes beyond a smash burger. Mm. These are what he calls LA crispy edges. So Ryan, the legend, flies over to America once a year and just goes and explores what the burger scene is out the minute. And that's what it's like. Real thin, crispy patties. Mm. And then just cheese, beautiful. And then he does whatever he wants with them at the end. And I smashed one. You smashed one. And Ethan smashed one because he was... He threw in an extra one. Because yeah. we only ordered two and he threw in a third one. Great. So, Ethan, birthday boy. Well, what a what a birthday treat. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, I was saying before, Drew, um, when in that little eating phase, that... Um, I really liked how that burger was quite thin and crispy on the edge. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, oh, it was just, it looked beautiful. It tasted fantastic, really juicy. That was, that was an incredible burger, fucking hell. I feel like a lot of burgers can just be pretty standard. Mm. And it, you need a little bit of, it's hard to edge. get that little bit of edge. Yeah, it's hard to get that with a burger, but I felt that edge was achieved here. And, and amazingly, um, despite the fact that obviously it's a burger, so you know, yeah. quite a sloppy, messy food, very well packaged to the point where when it arrived, the bun, sorry, nothing was soggy. No. But it was very, it was all very moist. Yeah, yeah. The bun retained its structure. All of the food was still in place. Nothing had slid out. No, you know, overly thick. Because the things that let burgers down are when, you know, like the tomatoes are cut too thick yeah, yeah, yeah. or when the bun is soggy or, you know, when the lettuce isn't quite right. Or the so 100%. Every piece of that was fantastic. And it I've never nice, had, I've seen them on, on videos before. You see these like great burger restaurants in America. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why he's got it. Where they're really smashing that edge down. But the edges were like, almost like, you could see through the edge. It in was, the, yeah. the centre, it was like a, a proper burger, but around the edge, it's these like crispy sort of shards of of, of, of thin meat. Yeah, it was nice. It was amazing. It was nice. It was genuinely gorgeous. And the, and the fries, shout out to the fries. We're not doing the fries, but the fries are good, Ethan. Ethan? Oh, yeah. Ethan well, well, yes, uh, we're not rating these, <laughs> but I've got them uh, Sticking just, them in his gum. just here. Um, Kevin, uh, bacon fries? Yeah. Uh, bacon cheese on. All right, I'll kick things off. Ryan loves the pod, and I think he's doing great work. Yeah. It's in for me. Yeah, and honestly, and I'm not just saying this because because Ryan watches the podcast. No, we actually aren't just saying it because Ryan. I've never had, I've never eaten there before. Yeah. I didn't know about that. I've never <coughs> been there. Um, and I said before that Five Guys is the best burger chain, and I will stay stand by that because I don't mm. think this is a big chain. That's the best burger I've had. It's so nice. Maybe ever. Certainly Oof. in Manchester. That's the best burger I've had in Manchester. Easy. Um, Easy. It, like I said last week. A burger will always be yeah, yeah, a yeah. bit of meat and bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a very, very good meat and bread. So I'll, I'll put that in. That was honestly fantastic. Ethan, um, I'm, I have to be agreeing with Joe pretty much. Um, I think that's the best burger I've had in Manchester. Yeah. And I'm a, I was hoping because uh, I was sitting to Joe before and like, um, oh, I hope. You, I, we'll have to probably be nice because he watches and Drew was like no fuck it we're going to like give it a proper opinion yeah. and I was hoping he'd go a bit Gordon Ramsay on it and like really criticise it I thought that would be quite funny content but disappointingly it's just fucking amazing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was genuinely great it was great well, applause for yeah, yeah, well done thank Thanks you Lord. Lord. Burger place. Uh, that burger place that burger that place that burger place Fantastic. you get it in the city centre now um, I don't even feel that like stodgy no it's good I think it's because it's. I think it's because all the big fatty patties just have a lot of oil in them yeah. where he just gets it right crispy dead season boom <sighs> delicious Fantastic. Uh, right Ethan you, it's your birthday it's been an Ethan special today, really, hasn't it? And uh, you were time. so happy to... Oh, by the way, we recorded uh, Thingy last night. Come down with me. That's coming out for the patrons. Yeah. Uh, that was a great night. Ethan went home and threw up immediately. <laughs> yeah, but he says it was from the other night. Yeah, well... Is that true, Ethan? Yeah, from the other night. Did you throw up? I didn't throw up, but I did shit my pants on the way home. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Where? Well, I didn't really, but I, didn't. <laughs> I fart smelled really bad, but... <laughs> We'll get into that on the, uh, on the So edit. make sure you shout out to Patreon so you don't miss that. But Ethan, whilst we were sat there watching a bit of footy, you said you've got a selection of stories. So this is, ladies and gentlemen, is Ethan's story time. Well, you see, I, I, I'm not very good at just spontaneously giving stories, but these came out from when we're talking to come down with me behind the scenes and Joe would force me to write down whatever I said. And you can't even have a proper conversation with these people anymore because it all has to be saved for the podcast. It's really good. It's a really good dynamic that we've got where if anyone... L even looks like they're going to tell a funny story 
the other two go. Stop us save it. Save it for the podcast. Yeah, we, didn't, we didn't really speak about anything last time. No, no, it was awful. Awful business. Save um, it for the podcast. Well, I don't really know how funny they are because they just stop you before you say anything. So... Um, the first one I was going to say... We're not doing say. all of them today. There's loads <laughs> no. on that list. Pick a couple of your No, favorites. no, I was going to say one. Okay. And, um, when I was a kid, we did a, a sculpture competition in Gateshead, like a wooden sculpture competition. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, it was judged by Dr. Christian from Embarrassing Bodies. Oh, wow. <laughs> what, the guy who looks at, like, hell. a knob that's got a mushroom growing out of it on telly, and where they always go, oh, I was too nervous to go to a doctor. Yeah. So they went on national TV yeah, instead. Mental. What was it? What what chops has he got sculpture wise? Oh no, I've I've no idea. I don't know why he was there. But was it just... a big penis that you did a sculpture of? Ah no, you see that would have been more fitting. It was a uh, big Ben in the Houses of Parliament. That sounds like yeah, a cock and bollocks if you ask me. For you, isn't it? Hey, big Ben in the Houses of Parliament. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, ding dong. But, <laughs> It would be like uh, my parents would be like making the sculptures and that, and like all like the family friends and that. I'd just be like helping like hammer stuff. But it was like proper massive, you know. It's like so. Who, like, who is the, amazing? Who is the sculptor in the family then? I like my stepdad would like be. Uh, he would be the one like hammering things and putting them together. Does and he that. still sculpt? Um, he made um, haggis boards for us for my. Uh, for my uh, birthday well, you, present. Your business idea. What, the ah, shit? Yes. Do you remember that business idea? Yeah, yeah. he said he was going to bring in a video of a mop and then he wants us to not remember that because I don't think he's allowed to show it. Cause I uh, I'm it. allowed to show it, actually. I can. Oh. I did forget about that, though. I can't bring in the haggis video, which You're is unrelated. Um, I've got one story, then I've got a couple of Ask Ethan's. Um, oh, another story. Bloody hell. <laughs> you got a list? He's literally got a list in front of you. Don't act like you have to pluck them <laughs> out Yeah, but scan. I don't know if they're that funny if they're just, like, provoked randomly. All right. Um, how about the time when uh, my, my housemate Bill accidentally sent me Rio Ferdinand's phone number? Oh, okay. And and why? why? Why is that funny? Well, I don't know if it is that funny, but I'll say it anyway. So I played a little prank on him where... I, I pretended that I messaged Rio Ferdinand for work experience and said that I got his number from Bill. And this was when Bill just recently was working with Rio Ferdinand. Um, so I got my friend Sam to send me some messages and I saved Sam in my phone as RF7. Um, <laughs> Why um, RF7? Uh, just like like my mates, me and Rio kind of thing, okay. made it casual. <laughs> Famously um, number seven, Rio Ferdinand. Uh, oh, actually, why R RF7? I'm thinking that now. Is it because you thought you'd like play a joke that you'd think, oh, I, I put them down as seven, but you knew it was five, didn't you? I meant five. All oh, right, so you just told us wrong in the <laughs> yeah, eight. that's exactly what Fucking happened. Now, okay, yeah, I just wrote down my note wrong, and I was reading it out. RF five is what I meant, <laughs> right? And um, yeah, basically, I got Sam to send me some messages and whatever. Had a little bit encounter. Just remembered a couple of weeks ago to change Sam's name back to Sam. So I had that for R RF five for three years. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, I love that. So did Will? Did Will shit himself then? Because he thought oh, yeah. you were trying to use his name to get work experience. And well, then yeah. Uh, second. Well, I don't know how much you believed us, but I thought there was a bit of fun in there for everyone involved. So, what, uh, so just quickly before we go, read out Rio Fernand's phone number to Rob. Oh, uh, um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do. Oh, that. Have you got anyone's number that's not saved as normal? Nathan Ellington. Why? I just didn't add him in yet. I've got, I just put like, so say sometimes that someone messages me or calls me and I don't have their number saved. Like a drug dealer. I call them mystery. Oh, like mystery if you're cheating one. on that. Mystery yeah, if you're cheating two. on your girlfriend. No, no, like producers or something like that. Oh. One of them produces uh, uh, James John Robbins. Okay. He's still down as mystery AA. Why have you got it? Because I started mystery? a different system. I didn't know who he was. Because he just texted me out of the blue. Not saved. So then I save it as mystery AA, yeah. and then I go on WhatsApp and I look at the profile picture. No longer a mystery. I know who it yeah, is. That's quite a nice. Unless little game. they've got like the pets as the profile picture, then you still, uh, uh, you know. How do you just both know John Robbins? I don't. How do you not? I thought you were on a TV show with him. You well, were I was, but I don't know show? him. Did you not see him afterwards? The comedian no, he, John Robbins. No, he was um, long gone. He was long gone. Uh, yeah, I went on his TV show. Well, I say his TV. It was his TV show. It was his TV show. Um, and I won. I won it. So I'm, I'm one of, I think it only got one series, that show. Yeah, yeah. if you did a champion beat, of champions. Beat the internet be, with John Robbins. You'd be asked back. Um, I think there's only like 12 episodes or something. So I'm one of 12 people on earth that has God. won the um, beat the internet with John Robbins 
uh, USB stick, which Ooh, is what you want. It was a, it was a two, no. I think it was a one gigabyte memory stick. That's lovely. And a Kindle. But no, he wasn't. He wasn't sticking around for chatting afterwards. You he met him, you? He was gone. Yeah, DJ with him. I warmed him up for him. Warmed he, up for him. Warmed him up. I warmed him up. There wasn't warming him up that day. Miserable as sin. Right. I've got a couple of emails. Sloppy Joe's podcast at gmail.com. Okay. Absolute wild one, this one. This is from Nat. Hi, uh, Jojo and Ethan. My partner told me a hilarious story the other day, which I thought you guys would appreciate. So he was uh, in the shower getting washed, all covered in suds. Whilst giving his bum a good scrub and not actually paying attention, he managed to stick his middle finger no. right up his butt. Right. At full speed. No, it made no, him well, jump. Is, what do you mean full? There is no full speed. It made there him is, jump right. and nearly... Uh, uh, and nearly p- uh, pooing himself. No. Uh, my question is, have you ever done anything like this so odd and cringy? Oh, please keep me anonymous. If you're going to say keep me anonymous, put it at the start of the yeah, email. Yeah, because you can't expect Joe to read through an email first. Uh, and uh, I've just... That, you don't, Your full name's not in there, so it'll be all right. Um, there's... Uh, I mean, so obviously that wasn't an accident is the first point I'm going to make to you, anonymous. Do you think? Oh, but, uh, at full speed. Why would uh, you tell you, your partner then that you fingered your bum? Because maybe he wanted her to go, oh, but you like that, didn't you? And then he goes, <laughs> so I was oh, give okay, it a go yeah, when we've yeah. had a few drinks. He's opening the door, metaphorically and literally. Wow. Because well, there is no full speed. What do you mean full speed? So you if you're going like that, you're wiping your bum. And they no, go, that isn't a thing. Full speed. Could you, well, it means, I mean, it's different to each individual. Could you not give your hand a full, full yeah, hand but I don't, rub? I don't do that to my bum hole. Yeah, like, I think it changes. At speed, you, I think you, it changes. you purposefully take care of like it. You wouldn't to wash avoid your that willy happening. at full speed. Exactly. Your willy's got a different speed, though. Yeah. So it's like different roads. Like when you're driving past like a, you know, a school, you can't go more than 20 miles an hour. Yeah. I probably won't yeah. sit. Yeah, it's an interesting, when you're on a motorway, it's an when you're, when you're on a motorway, you're on sort of, 70 miles an hour. So your hands are 70 miles an hour and your legs, yeah. your legs are 70 miles an hour. Yeah. I think your I chest think, is 40. Yeah, I think your bum and bollocks are... Like, it's like being in a car park. It's a five. I think your bum can go 20 miles an hour. 20? Like that, I think. No, I wouldn't risk it. How quick can you go on your bum, Ethan? Um, if the body is a, a series of A, B um, roads and motorways, what? Right. how would you describe the bum? Oh, mine probably filled with potholes. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, and road. the council, despite your emails, won't do anything about it, will they? <laughs> no. Nah. Will they? Bloody hell. Um, yeah, he did it on purpose. He wants you to finger his bum. Ask him if he fancies it. There you go. Next. Uh, this one's from Sam. Wild one, this one. Can you ask Ethan if he would dress up as a goldfish and let Vertical Joe tickle him? As we all know, that's the only way Joe can compete. complete. What? Vertical Joe. Uh, so I'm Vertical Joe, you're Horizontal Joe. Yeah, so what? why would you let... Why would Ethan... You tickle Ethan in a goldfish suit, and that makes me aroused. Really? <laughs> um, Did you do it, Ethan? Was that you questioning that you'd be aroused, or is that you saying that you would be aroused? That's a good point. Let's leave it to the imagination. Um, oh well, then I'm not so keen on not really knowing where I'm standing there. To be fair, we could probably use a lot of the C-3PO stuff, couldn't we? Same colour. Yeah. <laughs> just a little gold outfit, but instead of a, uh, a helmet, you just got a little. Beautiful fish lit. Oh, God. Maybe right, I'm in, man, me. yeah. Oof, maybe maybe it would get me. Let's end this uh, podcast. Well, I've got one final one. Uh, I've got a fish to tickle. Daniel Moss's Dear Ethan's and Joe's. Uh, he said the other way around. Joe's and Ethan's. Uh, having purchased a ticket for the live show in Manchester, which we can now say is fully sold out, so thank you very much for getting the ticket. Uh, I'd better ask, um, where should we go for pre or post food slash beverages? Mm. Um, so maybe we could all choose one place that's near where we were, 53 to. Yep. That's the theatre. Obviously, tickets are sold out. Um, Round there, always just safe, almost famous. It's always a good burger. Yeah, almost famous work. Uh, it's nice. Maybe if you're going on a date, you could go somewhere a little bit more. Uh, Rudy's Pizza around there as well. Yes, near that's almost really, famous. That's Rudy's really Pizza nice. is just. It's probably the best, like Neapolitan style pizza in Manchester. I would yeah, say. Yeah, still, yeah. no one can take the crown off it. We've had Noi no. Quattro. We've had Chow. We've had all these people come along. No one can take the crown off Rudy's. So I'm going to say uh, Rudy's Pizza. Ethan, what would you throw in the mix? Uh, do you like Crazy Pedro's? Did you say Crazy Pedro's then, or did you say Crazy? Crazy. Crazy. Crazy Pedro's I like. Yeah. yeah. I don't love it, really. I think it's good. I, I, I tell you what, I prefer that pizza to Neapolitan. Do you? Yeah, I just like the fact that it doesn't fall off. Yeah. 
I get Neapolitan pizza now. We had we had a we had a good big talking to when we last when we dissed it last time. But you can pick up a slice of Neapolitan pizza and it could all just crumble. Mm. Whereas crazy Pedro's, you could you could frisbee that you could frisbee it and Until all the toppings would still stay on. Oh, <laughs> that's that's why I'm Pedro's all the way. Okay, crazy Pedro's, Rudy's, and um. What was yours? Uh, I go on swims. Lovely. But go, go afterwards because you don't want a full belly whilst you're getting all these belly laughs as well. No, eh? That's true. We don't want anyone being sick like Ethan on the teacups, do we? We're still looking no. for any... Uh, do we see any body warmers buried outside the venue? You know why. You know who did it. We've got a couple of spaces for our talent show as well on the live show. Sloppy Joe's podcast at gmail.com if you fancy it. Uh, we're going to be doing a talent show full of our talented listeners. Great. And there's a cash prize. Is there a cash prize or just a prize? There's a prize. There's a fucking prize. It costs us cash. money. Uh, and a special guest judge. Mm. Thank you once again to Wingfest for sponsoring the show. Yes, Make sure you check them out. The link to them is in the description. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ethan. Well, Ethan, I've Thanks. actually got you some gifts as well. How well, old are thank you? you. Uh, First of all, tw- 24. 24, the big 2 4. Yeah, on you. I'll give you this. Yeah, go on then, Ethan. What are you getting here? It's a nice bottle of something. Look at this. Okay. Can you open you it go. in shot? Nice bottle Happy birthday. Something. This is from both yeah, of us. This is from much. my man and dad. Sorry, cut. Oh! Wow! Very oh, salt. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got some, uh, wow, some medium sauce. Hey. So look, I just don't have to be going to Nando's every 10 so days So you don't now. have to steal them from Nando's. I can actually just, oh, that's a, that's a very thoughtful gift, actually. Thank you very much You're for You're welcome that. very much. That's so thank very you. Very kind. Uh, for joining us. We've got a cake there as well. You can have that off air. Okay. Um, there you go. Yeah, it's a Tesco finest there. Oh, lovely little cake. Thank you very much. This is all came out of the blue. Very lovely. Happy Thank birthday. you very much. Happy birthday, Ethan. And to round us out, let's let's sing a little. Happy birthday. Take a bite of the cake. Take a bite of the cake. Wave, Ethan. Bye. Happy birthday, dear Ethan. Ethan. I'll see you later, everyone. Happy birthday to. You.